Good morning, Sacred Spiritual Healer, with your career and finance messages for today. General Collective. If you didn't see the overall energy for your love reading, um, I just uploaded it. Great energy out there for today. The very peaceful and calm energy. Whereas yesterday I had quite a bit of anxiety, I think, for some. Or so we were getting. Let me just get my coffee. Give us a career and finance a message for the collective for today. How's your career and finance going for the ones that are reading or seeing this video? Please. The ones that will see the video. Please be sure and like and share the videos. Comment on how your journey is going. It helps the channel to grow. Message for the collective regarding their career and finance, please. Clear and precise message regarding the career and finance for the collective. So, watching the video. Three of Cups celebration. Perhaps some of you got a new job offer. Perhaps you're working more than one job, but it's a celebration of things gone well that you feel emotionally attached to. Bringing you the Nine of Pentacles. So today will be a good day. I think it is Friday. Lose track of days here. Stability, home, four of rods, blossoming, blooming with new opportunity. Ten of Pentacles, yes, complete abundance after your home, and judgment is here to make a judgment call on things. Perhaps you're juggling too many jobs. Then there, if you want peace of mind, let some of them go. <laughs> find your soul purpose, your mission that Spirit wants you on, and you'll find your bliss. Usually something you're very passionate about, something you're drawn to. Always something helping other people and not just yourself. If not, then perhaps you can volunteer at a local animal shelter to bring love to the homeless animals, the magician, and the world. So, yes, yeah, celebration. Things are blooming, blossoming all around you. Um, your workplace is um, a place uh, you're really ready to celebrate with this new opportunity, a new job, new, um, perhaps a promotion for some of you. But you're going to be celebrating with friends and loved ones because you are having not only are you gaining your um, what you've worked for and it's blossoming. There's new growth in this. And you even have money set aside for the future, set aside for emergencies or vacations that will bring you pure bliss. And because of that, your four of rods, you're also very stable, stable and um, going to be um, blossoming and prospering with your stability of your home, calm waters. And... Walking into the Ten of Pentacles energy, just walk through the gate of that ending of Ten of Pentacles, the struggle of having to make um, ends meet to provide for, walk through the gate and to your new uh, lifestyle of Ten of Pentacles, your castle, your home, happy family. The judgment card is here to make things just and right, to bring you out of the clouds that you've been in and bringing you the sunrise in the morning so things can blossom. This is something you've been manifesting, been manifesting this new work, this new pentacles, the abundance of all things in your life. You are in tune to your higher self, your 
intuition, you're listening to it, you're, you've got all the tools that you need within you to manifest these things, and you're doing it with the blessings of the divine. And this brings you the world. Uh, you're having the strength to move forward in this new opening, this new energy. You're moving fast like a gazelle, flying out of the storms like the eagle, and having your intuition, you're listening to spirit guides and taking your stance on the throne of power within your own life. It's a great read right there. I don't know why we need to clarify anything, but we will. <laughs> Just to see what else we get out of it, right? And maybe there's a few extra messages from Spirit. But this looks like a really good energy. That's just how I feel too. Um, the energy is just so peaceful and calm for today. A lot of people had a lot of anxiety yesterday. A lot of tension things were going on. But we are nearing the full moon coming in. Um, I believe it's the Aquarium full moon at that. We're nearing the 1111, which is an energetic portal of transcension and ascension. People coming into themselves and to in union with self or in union with others, in union with a higher paying job or with friends and family. Okay, so the King of Cups, your um, oh, your cup is overflowing with love and passion. You're emotional about this new start. Ace of Wands, good communication all around. Um, moving forward, you're on top of your game. Things are blossoming. Your um, pentacles are all around you, gaining. And you feel, um, yeah, at the top of your game, you feel like you're at the top of um, the mountain. Like, and justice, justice has helped you get there. So that you can receive that stability with the four of wands, balancing things out, balancing that home life with work, huh? your work, your um, things you want to do for fun for yourself, in addition to a family, making things more balanced and stable. Clarify ten of cups. Nine of cups. Yes, you're very abundant with your ten of uh, pentacles. You're moving through that portal, through that gate, and you're going to be abundant in um, all things. You'll have options, but this is like the sun card. He's on top of those cups of choices, things he's worked for, and he's there. Um, very abundant. He could be a she. Oh, sorry. It's a bird. I don't know why I said he. <laughs> Gender doesn't matter. <laughs> Judgment is here. For the 1111, it's the Four of Wands, two communications. Things are blossoming out of communication. Things are water um, emotionally. You're pouring your communication from the heart level. Um, but these ones look just like that 1111. So perhaps that's the portal the day that you receive the walking through that gate is going to be in a couple of days here. Because that's what you've been manifesting. That's what you're working towards is being in union with self, being in union with bliss. Thank you. Knight of Cups moving forward like the white knight with the cup of love. And perhaps this new family that you've been manifesting um, with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you're just coming forward here um, to offer love so that you can walk through and have that stable family life. Maybe that's something you're looking for. But nonetheless, you're balancing things. You're trying to balance um, your pentacles, your relationships, regardless to the chaos around you, people swirling the energy and causing chaos. You're trying to stay in the loop of eternity with balancing everything, your life and your pentacles together. And the king of pentacles, he's very abundant as well, holding on to those pentacles he has, but he's got his wings screwed out, screwed out and his chest is puffed up like very proud of his accomplishments. 
Anything else for spirit? So the three and five minutes, anything else? Oh, Knight of Pentacles moving forward on that beautiful stallion. All right. Spirit guys, what would you like? Messages would you like to get to the rest of watching these videos? What would the spirit guys like to shapeshifter? Ooh, mysterious. It's a buck. You can see in the shadow there a buck back there. Very nice. So, shapeshifter. Yes, being able to shapeshift, come and go, and it's not a shady thing. It's not something you're sneaking around doing. This shapeshifter is being everything all at the same time. You can easily go between other worlds or astral travel, but most of all here in this reading, it's going to be regarding your career. You're able to keep that career going with the relationship and your family and having fun at the same time. You're able to move like a shapeshifter in and out of those energies to balance your life. White buffalo. Remember the white buffalo spirit of the white buffalo calf in the spirit, sorry, promises to always meet your needs. And vision quest go out and um, campfire or just sit in nature and go on a vision quest. See what the sole purpose now is, what your mission spirit has brought you to this level and you've manifested well, your reunion with self perhaps, but now you need to be in mission, be in your sole purpose and go into a vision quest and see what that is. Ask your spirit guys, what is your sole purpose? What is the mission you're on? Any guidance for them regarding these? Any other guidance? Heal your codependencies. Yeah, so perhaps you're codependent on something. Work, relationships, pentacles, uh, cigarettes. Um, codependency is when you depend or feel like you um, need to be in touch with something all the time. Balance, balance your yang, inner yin and yang, masculine, feminine and energy balance. Balance your work life and family life. Just saw the card pass. I should have probably stopped on it. It was the get into mission, get in your sort of purpose. Meditate and ask Spirit Guide to show past traumas that need to be healed. Stop blaming others, including the divine counterpart. Your, okay, so Forest Witch says your path ahead gets cleared with news you hear in the 3D. And ancestors are sending you messages. Listen quietly and give thanks to them for their messages, but give thanks for guidance. So that's what I have for you for your career and finance. I hope you have a blessed day.